I take out mom's ashes. I recite a line from Shakespeare. Othello! She loved that one. A actually, no, I, I don't think she ever saw it or read it. She what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I've never even read it. You know, I searched and I searched and I searched for the perfect poem or song or quotation or something to say at that moment, but I just, I, I could not find anything. So I flipped open a book of Shakespeare plays. I mean, he's supposed to be the best, right? And I dropped my finger down to a play and it was Othello. So that's what I memorized. And that's what I said. And then I said, goodbye, mom. I tossed her ashes into the air. And by the air, of course, I mean the wind. And by the wind, I mean the wind blowing in the direction that I'm standing. No, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never paid too much attention to those old sailor movies where they say, never spit into the wind, because sure enough, mom blows right out and back at me. And by back at me, I mean my face. And by my face, I mean my nose and my mouth. And so, of course, my face is all wet and weepy, and so mom sticks to my face, and I freak out and hail with horror, and down she goes. Oh, oh God, like, not all of it, or her, but enough. Like, just enough to be absolutely horrified that I have just swallowed some of my mother, which I'm sure could be some beautiful metaphor for mom living inside of me and all that sentimental bull, but really... All I can think about is how my mother tastes like charcoal. Not that I would know, but you can imagine. God, and so I'm pouring water out of my canteen onto my face and got into my mouth and I'm stumbling all around the top of this castle rock thinking, I'm either going straight to hell for cannibalizing my mother or straight off the edge of the rock like that old Indian girl who just couldn't live without her lover. No, it's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Laugh.